Hello everyone. Now our next program is on arrays. First, let's see what is meant by the arrays. An array is a collection of similar type of elements that have a contiguous memory location. In other words, we can say that it is a data structure where we store the similar elements. We can store only a fixed set of elements in a Java array. In Java, array is a index based. So the first element of the array is stored at the index 0. So now let's go into detail of this program. Here a class named arrays is used. Next in the main method in this statement in this statement uh, array is declared and initialized in the same statement. So we can say that in Java Arrays can be initialized when they are declared. An array initializer is a list of comma separated expressions surrounded by the curly braces. So the commas separate the values of the array elements. So here in the statement, the values are 11, 22 up to 92. The values are separated by the comma. So here the array variable is R and its type is the integer. Next, in the for loop statement, all these values are displayed one by one by using the println statement. Next, next here the array of string is declared whose length is 5, which have already declared in the statement, previous statement that is integer j is equal to 5. So, as you have already studied that, all array indexes start at 0. So, the double quoted value, for example, here, Amrut is assigned to index 0. So, the next index, uh, Amit, this value is assigned to index 1 and uh, like that up to index 4. So, in the next for loop statement, all these elements, string array elements are displayed by using the println statement. So, here there is a end of the program now you can run this run this file or run this program by right clicking and using the command run file and in the output statement you can see the output first array elements are displayed one by one and next string arrays elements are also displayed here so i hope you understood understood this program okay thank you